In this video, I'm going to show you how to easily format the text on your Elementor created pages. And that's going to give you a lot more sway when it comes to changing the look and feel of your content. So we're over here on a demo page that I've made for my video content PLR members. And if we hover over different sections of this particular page, we can see that a little pink box comes around and we have the ability to edit by clicking on a pen icon. So let's click on this pen icon and then we have the text that's inside of this element appear here. Now this is a very basic editor like you would see in your average WordPress website and it's very self-explanatory. So I can highlight a portion of text, I can make it bold, I can underline it, I can italicize it and I can also get rid of any changes. I can change the color so I could make this a blue, I could put this back to a black. Um, using it this way, it's very simple. However, if we come up here to style, we get a lot more different options. This is where we can align it to the left, center, right or justify. So I'm going to keep this centered. We can change the text color here by clicking this and then we can change the color just by moving it around or dragging this to the right or to the left and then just clicking and we see the color changes immediately so we can see what it looks like. I'm going to bring this back here and if you know the hex code you can put that in here as well. So that's the color. We can also change the typography. So if I click on this right now, it's Roboto. If I want to change something, I could do, for example, Vedana, and you can see it changes here. In this particular case, I think it looks better being the original font. If we want to change the font size and make it bigger or smaller, we can just use this little up or down arrow so I can click it up or I can click it down. I want this to be on one line, so I'm going to keep that there. We can change the weight. Right now it's on a 300 lightweight. So if I change this say to 700, you'll see that it becomes bolder. And I'm gonna go back to 300. We can transform the text. We can make it all uppercase. We can make it all lowercase. We can capitalize it or we can make it normal. I'll actually capitalize it because I think that looks good as this little heading up there. As for style, if we click on this, we can use normal, italic or oblique. If I was to click on oblique, for example, you can see it changes slightly. I'm going to go back to the default. It's ha I'm happy with that. Decoration, we have underline, overline, line through or none. Now, obviously, I'm not going to put a line through it, but if I were, it would look like that. I'm going to go back to default and keep that there. And then we have line height, letter spacing or word spacing. So line height, if I just drag this across, you can kind of see what happens. So you just want to play around with these things until you're happy. Letter spacing, if you want to have big spaces between the letters or you want it all squished up, just make it so it looks nice and it's readable. And word spacing, we can put huge spaces between the words or we can have none. And when you're happy, you can click update. If you find that you make a mistake and you want to go back, you've got a history button down here which you can click and you can find one of the changes that you made and click on that and it will go back to that particular version. So let's try something different. Let's come over to this one. We'll click on this little pen one here. Now I'm not going to go through exactly the same things that you can do, but in this case we'll click on advanced and there are certain things that we can play around with here. So we've got margins and we've got padding. Now, if I were to go with padding, for example, and click this little link and then just start clicking up, up on the bottom or down, you can see that the text just moves up or down. And you want to just play around with this until it's either high enough up or, high, or low enough down so that there's a little bit of spacing between your elements and it's not too squished up. And the best thing to do is just update or save as you go along and then right click and we'll preview changes in a new tab and you can open this up and you can see that it looks okay. I probably would want to make this gap a little bit smaller to get my copyright higher but this is pretty good. Let's go back here. We can also check this on other devices as well. We can click on responsive mode and we can see what it looks like on a, on a tablet. Looks okay to me, but this button should really be higher. And you can see this looks a little bit squished on a tablet, but most traffic is probably going to come via mobile. And if we go to the top, this looks quite squished to me. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to go to typography and I want to make this so it's not too squished up but it's still okay so that looks good to me now for this i'm going to click on this go to style and typography i'm going to make this smaller so let's go with um what can we do let's go with 35 and see what that looks like that's fine 
Actually, I'll make this smaller. I might make this 25 and I'm gonna come down and bring it closer together. And then for this section here, I'm going to make this a lot smaller. So I'm just gonna bring this down to, obviously it's gotta be readable, but I want it smaller. The whole point of this is so that we get this above the fold. Now, if we don't like this, we can of course um, right click on this and we can delete this completely. Now, if we go back to desktop, we can see that while that's actually gone, the changes to the font size and the spacing hasn't changed. It's only something that has changed on a mobile device if somebody's viewing it on mobile. So we can make sure that our pages look good on mobile, look good on desktop, and if you think you're gonna get enough traffic on tablet, you can go with that as well. So formatting the text is really, really important. And once you know how, it's actually incredibly simple. Now I'm gonna click back up here, and I'm gonna come down to click on advanced once more and just show you a few other things. So if we were to click on margin this time, and let's go with top, and we can just play around with this. We can see that we bring it up to the top. So we've removed a little bit of space up here. We've got the width. I just, I don't play around with this so much. I leave everything as default. And if we come down here, there are other things that we can also do. So for example, we can add a border. So I can click on a dotted border and I've now got a border around this. Now, when it comes to the border, I can change the color of the border. So I can click on color and put a red dotted border if I want to. Um, I can change the border radius. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different things that we can do, but we don't want to get too overwhelmed with all of these options. I often think it's good to keep it simple. If you've got a page that's simple and clean, it's a lot more likely to convert than a page that's got way too many bells and whistles and things going on that can take away somebody's attention. But that's just the basics of editing text on Elementor. Again, let's update this and let's um, preview the changes. You can see here we've got this ugly red dotted border, which I'm gonna get rid of. And then I'm gonna probably go back to how it was. So let me just go ahead and click on border and go with none, which we call. Let's just update that once more. And this come back here, this will automatically update. And now we're looking good to go. We've got a nice little subheadline with an um, divider or a line. We've got a big headline and we've got an opt-in box and a button which changes when we hover and I'll show you how to do that in other videos and create the opt-in boxes and these effects. And now we've got our legal pages down here that we can then hyperlink. Thanks for watching. Any questions let me know and I'll see you soon.